New details emerging about the precise CIA drone strike that killed the leader of al-Qaeda in Kabul, one of the world's most wanted terrorists. The terror mastermind who helped plan attacks on U.S. embassies, the USS Cole, and 9-11 had been hiding in plain sight in Kabul. The White House now releasing this image of President Biden in the Situation Room on July 1st as he planned the assault with his national security team. A scale model of the target appears in a box on the table. Smoke is seen rising from the neighborhood where the Biden administration says he was taken out by two Hellfire missiles while standing on the balcony of his home. This marks the most significant U.S. attack in Kabul since America's withdrawal from Afghanistan nearly one year ago. The top masterminds behind the September 11th attack have now either been captured or killed by U.S. forces, including Osama bin Laden, Ayman al-Zawahiri, and Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. Questions are now rising about whether other terrorist leaders are using Afghanistan as a safe haven. ABC's chief White House correspondent Cecilia Vega leads us off. Tonight, this photo circulating online, the building where it's believed the world's most wanted terrorist met his end. The White House says while standing on his balcony, struck down by U.S. Hellfire missiles. Those missiles were likely flying Ginzus, called that because they launched six long blades to kill a human target, while sparing those standing just feet away. The White House today asked how they are sure Zawahri is dead. Visual evidence and evidence collected through through other means. I, I really think that's about as far as I can go. But the assessment is high confidence um, that uh, that we got who we were aiming for. President Biden describing the precision strike. This mission was carefully planned, rigorously minimized the risk of harm to other civilians. None of his family members were hurt and there were no civilian casualties. Zawahri had been on the run for more than 20 years. Ever since the 9-11 attacks, he helped plan. He was long believed to be hiding out in Pakistan and the border region. But when American forces moved out of Afghanistan, Zawahri reportedly moved back in, moving into a safe house in an upscale neighborhood in Kabul, essentially hiding in plain sight. And that is where U.S. intelligence located him months ago. Top administration officials briefed President Biden back in April. The White House releasing this picture from July 1st. The president reviewing the plans to take out the terrorist. In that box on the table, a scale model of the safe house in Kabul. No matter how long it takes, no matter where you hide, if you are a threat to our people, the United States will find you and take you out. A major victory for the president, but today the White House facing new questions. Did pulling American troops from Afghanistan create a refuge for terrorists? How concerned is the administration right now that the Afghanistan has become a safe haven for terrorists? I think if you were to ask some members of al-Qaeda, ask them how, how safe they feel in Afghanistan right now. Let's get right to Cecilia Vega, who joins us from the White House. And Cecilia, just moments ago, the State Department issued a new warning in the wake of his death. What are they saying? Yeah, Lindsay, this just came in right now. They are warning of a continued threat of terror attacks and other actions against American citizens who happen to be overseas. They say that this is a direct warning that comes in the wake of the killing of al Zarwaki. They believe that terror groups continue to plan attacks around the world on American interests. They are warning, Lindsay, of specific things, everything from kidnappings to hijackings and possible bombings. This is for Americans overseas and embassies as well. A very serious warning tonight just coming in, Lindsay. Lots of concern there, Cecilia. Our thanks to you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.